Arlington County police are looking for a potential serial attacker. Two women say they were sexually assaulted inside their own homes within 10 days of each other. Yeah, so the first attack happened in the Boston neighborhood. The second one in the Clarendon Courthouse neighborhood. DC News Now reporter Daniel Hamburg went to Arlington today and talked with police and also neighbors around Clarendon Boulevard. Hey, he joins us live from Arlington tonight. And Daniel, neighbors tell you this is pretty unusual for that area. Chris and Tessmi, not just neighbors, but police are saying that as well. A few women I talked with today say they're not necessarily afraid, but they are taking precautions. On April 2nd, police received a call about an attempted rape around 4.15 a.m. in the 3900 block of Fairfax Drive in Boston. We got um, an email from my unit owner to let us know about what had happened. I was really surprised because you don't hear about that type of crime in this neighborhood. Jillian Applin lives in a nearby apartment building. It didn't make me too nervous um, because it's not like an abundance of crime, but it's, it's definitely scary that it happened so close to where I live. The second assault happened on April 12th in the 2200 block of Clarendon Boulevard in Clarendon. In both incidents, the suspect gained entry into the female victim's uh, apartment, went into her bedroom and touched her inappropriately. The victim screamed and the suspect fled the scene on foot. Due to similarities in the cases, our detectives with the special victims units are investigating these as possibly related cases. Public information officer Ashley Savage says they're in the process of looking at surveillance images and going over witness interviews. This is unusual um, that we we have incidents like this, um, but we want the public to know that we take these cases very seriously. We are deploying significant resources to these in addition to speaking with witnesses, collecting evidence on scene. We are conducting extra patrols in the area. She says security plans only work if everyone follows them. The weather is getting nicer. We all want to leave our windows open, make sure we're securing our windows at night, securing our doors. I ask that you not piggyback and like if someone's following in behind you, just ask them, hey, can you scan your key fob rather than like letting them follow in. And if you do live in one of these areas, you may have surveillance video uh, from where these uh, assaults happened or in the area of these assaults, you're asked to contact police. And of course, if you see anybody in your building that's out of the ordinary, contact police as well. We're live in Arlington County. Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.